I'm John Silva on Southern Connecticut's news and information leader, WICC. Once again, good evening, folks, and welcome back, everybody. T.S. with you here on the radio show's telephone connection for late on uh, Tuesday. Almost Wednesday now. It's the 8th of September, 1992. We are live out of the UIB Broadcasting Studios in Los Angeles, California, back from a terrific week in San Francisco. Great show and repeat tonight. Ray Bradbury is here, the writer. Also tonight, Pat Schroeder, the congresswoman. All of this now for 8 September 1992 out of Southern California. Man, I hope you're talkative tonight because, man, am I white tonight. Wow, Bob. Drove in from San Francisco Bay today, 397 miles door to door. Highway 5 through the San Joaquin Valley. Average temperature out there today, 95 degrees. Not bad. On the way up 10 days ago, it was 105. And up near Tracy, California, this is way up north, gang. Okay, up in uh, Stanislaus County, I believe, way up there. Right before you make the loop and, uh, and, and run over through Livermore where they have all those windmills. I don't know if you folks have been up through there, but they've got a big electrical project up there where they got all these windmills going. They look like big bugs along the side of the highway. You know what I mean? Big grasshoppers up there. Wappa, 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 you know? So anyway, at Tracy, there's a, I mean, a tremendous traffic jam on this uh, Highway 5, uh, two lanes uh, either way. Tremendous traffic jam. We're just as lane close, and we're in one lane, and we're not moving, and it's 116 degrees. I kid you not. 116 on the floor of the valley. Man, that's hot. And they say, yeah, well, Tom, it's a dry heat. Right, folks, but so's an oven. You know, 116 is hot. I mean, geez, you know, the, uh, what's a warm oven? That's only 185, right? So, I mean, we're not that far away from, uh, from keeping pizza warm in the oven at 116. And of course, I don't want the, I don't want to blow the radiator hose out there, so I turn off the AC in the car and drop the window down, and, uh, so we're going five miles an hour, two miles an hour, five miles an hour, twelve miles an hour, two miles an hour, ten, and this is going on for the better part of an hour. And I've got a new thing now where, when I'm in a predicament that's beyond my control, I just, oh man, I just said, oh man, you know, it's making me, it's like one day going to work up there, I got stuck on the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, in, in traffic. There was some traffic up there. And I'm sitting there in the middle of the bridge, and I mean, if you got to be stuck in traffic, I guess the Golden Gate Bridge is as good a place as any for the scenery in, in the world, right? But I keep thinking, like, if right now we have the 8.2, you know what I mean? Or the 9.1, and I've been reading the book where the Marin Tower, Marin County Tower of the Golden Gate Bridge is right over the fault line, I'm thinking, oh, man, you know... Oh, I, man, what if these wires start falling down? I, I, oh, man, all that's down there is water, and it's cold, you know? And this car I'm sitting in, <laughs> the, the float rate ain't too good, you know? <laughs> the, the glide path for an 88 Caddy ain't that great, you know? So anyway, I'm at Tracy. We're going two miles, six miles. Uh, and finally, we, we start moving pretty good. We're up to about 20 as we pass the construction site. And these guys are out there working in the uh, shirtless because it's 116. And it dawned on me that they probably could have gotten this through there a little faster than one hour. But I guess if I were working on the road gang, I would have said, well, you know, if I have to sit out here, they're going to sit here for a while, too. All these people in the air-conditioned Humvees, right? Man, was it hot out there. <clears throat> anyway, i got a stack of stuff to go through here with you very briefly. Uh, Robert Fader, the Chicago... Oh, is this the Chicago Tribune newspaper? Chicago Sun-Times. He writes the radio column for the Sun-Times. A little column here on uh, August 26th last week. Two weeks ago, fans take sides on WLS, WGN. Here's V. Miller in Chicago. Thanks to WLS, AM and FM, 890 AM, or, yeah, 94.7 FM for keeping talk. My favorite is Tom Snyder, who helps pass some long nights. Thanks very kindly. Appreciate that. Uh, USA Today, I haven't even gone through this. I don't have time. 
In Palm Springs, California the other day, viewers on cable channel number 40 were watching a scheduled religious breakfast when all of a sudden a naked woman being undressed and caressed by a naked man popped up on the screen. Several viewers called Channel 40 and said, Hallelujah. The rest complained. <laughs> Warner Cable blames a switching problem. We certainly regret the mistake, said Warner Cable, but we've always promised viewers more than they bargained for. <laughs> Very good. I told you the story once in Broward County, Florida. The cable viewers on a Sunday afternoon were watching Something Wonderful is Going to Happen to You with, uh, with uh, you know, the guy I mean, Oren Roberts. Uh, Oren Roberts, yeah. Is that is that right? Oren Roberts? No. Oral. Oral Roberts, right. <laughs> it's funny, I should have forgotten the name. Oral Roberts. Uh, something Wonderful is Going to Happen to You, and all of a sudden, Deep Throat came on. Out of 125,000 cable subscribers, not one person called to complain. Uh, quotes in the uh, in the Newsweek magazine today. This is from uh, Perspectives. Newsweek, September 14, 1992, page 21. Dr. Patricia Santi, a former NASA flight surgeon, on the possibility of human beings having sexual intercourse in outer space, something which, I'm told, has already occurred. I mean, let's face it, we've sent men and women up there for days on end. Somebody has had to say, "Hey, why don't we? What is the thing they call that 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 big thing where they go? You know, where the where the arm goes out, the the the, the galley, or not the galley, but the 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 whatever." Anyway, Dr. Patricia Sandy on the possibility of sex in space. She says human beings are infinitely adaptable. <laughs> if they can do it in the back seat of a '57 Chevy, <laughs> they can do it anywhere. <laughs> bravo, bravo. George Bush is on the campaign trail saying we got to cut the spending, right? And this is not to bash Bush. This, this is what the man has promised so far. Uh, full federal reimbursement for hurricane-damaged buildings in Florida, 5 to $15 billion. He's promised $2 billion to train unemployed workers nationwide. He's promised $755 million in emergency disaster aid for farmers. And he's promised a $1 billion subsidy for wheat exports. At every campaign stop this guy makes, he promises somebody money for something. And we don't have any money. The other part of the campaign that I love so far, have you picked up on this, folks? Clinton and Bush, a plague on both of them for this. I'm a better Harry Truman than you are. Clinton, I'm a better Harry Truman. Bush. No, no, I'm a better Harry Truman. I'm more like Harry Truman. I went to war. I fought in the war. Truman fought in the war. You didn't fight in the war. Clinton. Well, Truman was a Democrat. You're a Republican. You didn't even vote for him. My people voted for him. I'm a better Harry Truman than you are. You heard what Margaret Truman said to the president's daughter. She says, I knew Harry Truman. <laughs> and neither one of you is Harry Truman. Finally, I have a joke from a listener. This is not me. This is from uh, a listener. It's called One More Thing. Artist Pablo Picasso dies, and God says, To get to heaven, you must prove who you are. So Picasso draws a picture, and God lets him in. Next, Dr. Martin Luther King dies and makes a long speech on civil rights to prove himself, and God says, Go right in. Vice President Dan Quayle dies, and God says, Prove you're Dan Quayle. Why, Quayle says, and God says, because Picasso and Martin Luther King both had to prove who they were to get in. Quayle said, who are they? God said, go right in. We'll be right, <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> in jazz, there's cool, and then there's cool plus. Same with pain relievers. Introducing Therapeutic Mineralize Plus, the pain reliever that gives you Cool Plus. A cool pain-relieving lotion for your minor aches and pains, plus a soothing moisturizer for your skin. It's the newest thing in cool. Whether your knees ache from gardening in the hot sun or your back is sore from shopping in the mall, new Therapeutic Mineralize Plus is a must. 
Rub it into your sore muscles and aching joints. It feels cool. That's how you know it's working. And the pain seems to dissolve away. What's more, it doesn't feel greasy. It even has a fresh, pleasant scent. New Therapeutic Mineral Ice Plus in a convenient squeeze bottle. Show your pain to cool it. Use only as directed. We interrupt the commercial cluster for programming information. Tomorrow night here, uh, Alexander Haig will be with us, the former chief of staff in the Nixon White House, member of the Johnson, Nixon, Ford, and Reagan presidencies administrations. Alexander Haig tomorrow night on many of these same stations. We'll take your calls now at 800-756-0852, the toll-free exchange, 800-756-0852. We will be right back. Everything went very dark for a few seconds. Then a being of light was at my side. This is just one of the hundreds of near-death experiences recorded in Transformed by the Light by best-selling authors Dr. Melvin Morris and Paul Perry. The largest study of its kind, Transformed by the Light, uses exacting scientific methods to examine the remarkable physical and spiritual changes that occur in those who have had near-death experiences. It's a book that will permanently change your views on death and dying. Published by Gillard Books at bookstores now. They get like a water blister. It itch and you'd scratch it. It got terrible. Martha Stevens of Parma, Ohio, is telling us about Triple Action Gold Bond Medicated Powder. It's real cool. Might you put in cold water on it. Gold Bond's Triple Action is the absorbing action of powder, the medicating action of a proven itch fighter, and the drying action of zinc oxide. Gold Bond has medication in it that stops the itching. Gold Bond powder is the best that I've found. Try Triple Action Gold Bond Medicated Powder. Use only as directed. Okay, we are back here in Los Angeles. The radio show is produced by Debbie Alpert and Paula Schuster. The chief engineer is Bob DePriest. Back in New York, New York tonight, the team is Don Bailey and Beaumont Small. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, here. Thanks to the boys and girls, the board ops at all the stations across North America. Folks, if you're out there driving the, uh, the interstate now, the turnpike, you see those radio towers along the highway with the beacon at the top. These, these are where the board ops are working tonight to keep this whole thing running. Keep this network up and operating tonight. Thank you, gang, for your help in the production and presentation of the Tuesday Night Radio Show. Ray in uh, Los Angeles. Hello. Hi. Hi, Ray. Hi. You're not here right now, unfortunately. No, well, I'll tell you, we, we're on delay in Los Angeles now. They've changed programming at the radio station, so we come on a little bit later, 1 o'clock in the morning. And uh... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write a letter, okay? It won't do any good. It won't? Nope. You can save your breath. It won't okay. do any good. They, uh, they're they putting on, uh, who's on? Joy Brown, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, you see, the, the the radio station is owned by the uh, same people that have Joy Brown, so obviously uh, they take care of their own. And I understand that. Yeah, I do, too. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I can I can write a protest anyway. Yeah, go ahead, write them. You want the address? Yes, I do. Okay, it's 14800. Okay. What are they going to do, Debbie? Take the show off the air and run it at one o'clock in the morning if I give out this address? No. I'm getting no, no. I'm getting long faces from the oh, control room. I, I will write a nice letter. I'm not going to tell the station their turkeys or anything, but I will say you're missed. How's that? One four eight zero zero Lassen Street, L A S S E N. Okay. Mission Hills, nine one three four five. The lady's name out there is Debbie Farr, F A R R, as in Famous American Railroads. Okay. All right. So I will. I won't. I won't. Give it to him. Okay. I'll be very nice about it, though. I know you. I know you will. I call it just an interesting subject tonight. I think this whole thing going on with Iraq and the money going through the bank in Atlanta and all the supposed connections and everything. Yeah, BCCI and all that stuff. Yeah, Yeah, it's kind of noisy on that line. But one of the ones that we're concerned with is... The fact that any local police department file on an individual could end up in Iraq. And we're just concerned that it's just... No, wait, 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 wait. Any police department file on an individual? Yeah, like if you have been stopped for a ticket or something? Yeah. Or any other thing that would end up in a criminal investigation? Right, right, any infraction, okay. Right. 
could go to Iraq right now, the way it's set up. How so? It's the. It's on a telecommunication system, and it's. Of course, I mean, would, would Iraq know? Would, would they know what an unlawful U-turn at a red light men means? That I don't think they care about. But yeah. I'm concerned about what's gone over about our soldiers. Because yeah. we've been investigating this for a while now. Yeah. And it's, I work with the National Commission on Law Enforcement and Social Justice, and I think we've called you before. And we were founded by the Church of Scientology in 1974 to investigate this group. And mm -hmm. right now, the Iraq connection is a little scary. Okay. Interpol headquarters has 250,000 files on individuals. Well, Iraq has access to that right now. And even the Secretariat General has said they have access. So while the rest of the war is supposedly at war with the world, right? Yeah. Interpol headquarters still is giving them free access. And unfortunately, you don't know. No, shouldn't happen. Shouldn't happen. Anyway, write a nice letter to the radio station for me. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Here's Ian in Chicago. Hello. Hello. How are you, Tom? Fine, thanks. Good. Listen, I've been listening to you. You've been going to Northern California. You're talking about how much you like it. Maybe you could uh, compare for us uh, Northern and Southern California and... Uh, Tell us the differences and tell you tell us what you like. Uh, in a nutshell, in Northern California, uh, the air is much cleaner. Uh, the lifestyle is much slower. The pace is more relaxed. Uh, there isn't the, f the frenzy that there is in Los Angeles. There isn't the crime that there is in Los Angeles or the traffic that there is in Los Angeles. It just is a more pleasant lifestyle. Hmm. There's that much difference, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of difference. Uh, a uh, major difference. For those of us in the mid Midwest, it all sort of seems the same. No, it's not the same at all. I mean, th there's more weather in Northern California. The seasons are far more sharply defined. I mean, nothing like you guys get in Chicago. Mm -hmm. But certainly a lot more definition that there is here than there is here in Southern California. There are, th there, are, there are too many people living in Southern California, and the city is not administered, as is Chicago, in such a way that it works. Mm -hmm. This city no longer works. Uh, just thing, things have broken down. Things have broken down. You think you'll move up north? I'm hoping to. I mean, not tomorrow, but at some some point in the next couple of years, I'm hoping to. And I had hoped to be out of here by the end of this year, but I'm not going to make it. And uh, and run your and run run your new radio show from Northern California. Or whatever. I mean, you know, satellite technology makes anything possible. <laughs> okay, thanks, Tom. Glad you called, Ian. Thanks. Bye bye. We're going to pause here for the radio stations. Uh, tomorrow night, as I mentioned, Alexander Haig is here. Then on Thursday, uh, David Horowitz, the consumer advocate, and Debbie Fields, uh, founder of, yep, you got it, Mrs. Fields Cookies. Then on Friday, why is Leonard Malton not coming in Friday? No, no, no. Friday's it for Leonard. If he's not here Friday, he doesn't come in. I'm kidding. We'll be right back. After, who is that? Mary Tyler Moore is on TV. We'll be right back after these messages from the local stations. WICC Service 60, Southern Connecticut's news and information leader. The winning daily is 294. That's 294. The play four is 8904. That's 8904. And a big five and a half million dollars in tonight's lotto jackpot. The winning numbers 13, 16, 24, 32, 34 and 39. That's 13, 16, 24, 32, 34, and 39. Here's the latest from the WICC Weather Center. Partly cloudy tonight, chance for a shower or thunderstorm before midnight, or lows in the mid 60s. Tomorrow morning could be cloudy and foggy, but it should eventually be sunny with a high nearing 80. And then for Thursday, a mix of sun and clouds, maybe an afternoon thunder shower, or high in the mid to upper 70s. WICC 60 is first in traffic with our Flight 60 airplane above the traffic trouble spots every drive time. Call us at Star 60 whenever you see traffic on your Link Cellular. Hi, honey. Sorry I'm late. What a day. Going out to eat was a great idea. Mom must have called me a hundred times. Well, it's pretty tough on her having a dad in the hospital, and she's not feeling all that great either. I wish Dr. Courtney was still practicing. They really trusted him. She hasn't even tried to find a new doctor since he retired. Says she doesn't know where to start. Geez, I never thought about that. How do you find a new doctor anyway? What about your friend Sue? Didn't her father have the same thing Dad's got? Well, I'm not sure, but I hate asking just anybody. 
Finding a new doctor doesn't have to be a guessing game. Call Physician Connection. This free, no-obligation service matches you with the doctor you need. All doctors are affiliated with major area teaching hospitals. Call Physician Connection weekdays 9 to 4.30. Just dial 4DOCS. That's F-O-R-D-O-C-S. Physician Connection is a free doctor referral service of St. Vincent's Medical Center. It is not emergency medical care, an HMO, or a health insurance provider. Vera, have you seen that insert from Sunday's paper? You know, the one with McDonald's coupons? Well, I did see James clipping the coupon for a 99-cent Big Mac sandwich. He's always loved Big Mac. Remember how you... What about the other coupons? Well, Beverly took one for a two ninety nine dollars extra value meal. She was going to use it for lunch today. You know how hard it is for the young working folk. And then I used the family coupon with Little Will last night. I bought a delicious extra value meal after 4 p.m., and they gave Will a cheeseburger, small fries, and a drink and a 12-ounce cup for free. I can't believe it. This whole thing family is a conspiracy to deprive me of my fun at Mickey D's. I was looking forward to a delicious, juicy Big Mac tonight, and 99 cents is a mighty appealing price. Well, don't cry about it. Here, yeah, I still got the coupons from this week's TV guy. Vera, you are a wonder. Don't forget to redeem your McDonald's coupons from last Sunday's paper and from TV Guide. At participating McDonald's, see coupons for details plus tax. Prices may vary. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. You're on the radio show, and I'm Tom Snyder on Service 60 WICC. I know why Mary Tyler Moore's on CNN headline news tonight, because she got her own star on Hollywood Boulevard today, and it cost $3,000 to get $5,000. To get your own star on Hollywood Boulevard, which is how come I don't have one, because it's not worth it. <laughs> Snyder, you've been on the road too long, kid. Too much time in the side. It's the truth. Five grand to have a star on Hollywood Boulevard. Now, you see, people who walk the walk, the walk of fame in Hollywood might well think, isn't this great? Hollywood honors people of achievement by putting a star out there to commemorate their great successes and contributions. Not so. You, too, could have a... I, no, not anybody can get one. I mean, you've got to have a name to get one. But the cost of the star is five Gs, which I guess is to rip up the sidewalk and put the star in and have Johnny Grant come out there and belch on you or whatever it is he does. You know, Johnny's the honorary mayor of Hollywood. Who's made a career out of glad-handing in Hollywood. Does it very, very well. Nothing, and by the way, nothing wrong with that. You know, he's a good guy. <sighs> yep, it's station break time again. It's amazing how quickly they come up when you have a host who talks too much. We'll be right back with the full moon edition of the Nightside Hour after these messages from the local stations. You're listening to Service 60 WICC. Janet, you look great. I'm really taking care of myself. One thing I'm doing is drinking Ensure. Ensure? It's a delicious drink that's complete balanced nutrition. Oh. Protein, carbohydrates, minerals, vitamins. I'm drinking it every day. Your doctor recommended it? Uh-huh. It helps me get the energy I need to be active. Mm. Steve's drinking Ensure because it's also a great way to help stay healthy. Should I drink Ensure? Oh, absolutely. Good nutrition's important for everyone. Ensure, the number one doctor-recommended source of complete nutrition. Use as directed. If you do not have a will, did you know that the laws of the state and not you will determine who receives your property and in what amounts? Who manages the affairs of your estate? Also, your choice as guardian of your minor children may never be known. Now, for only twelve ninety five plus shipping, you can make your own will quickly, safely, and legally with the American Will Kit. To order, use your credit card and call now. 1-800-348-5500. Money back if not satisfied. See package for details. Call 1-800-348-5500. To be a dealer service advisor, you've got to understand cars. But to be a quality care service advisor, you've got to be into Fords, Mercuries, and Lincolns. I am, and I have been since my first car, a hot Mercury V8. I worked on that baby myself. But nowadays, cars are more exotic. Everything's controlled by computers. That's why Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealers have trained technicians and these incredible diagnostic tools. See, like this. 
It's called SBDS, a service bay diagnostic system. It's a computer that talks to the computers in your car or truck. It pinpoints the problem to help us fix it like that. Yep, times have really changed since that Mercury, cruising down Main Street, Nancy next to me. Now I'm in a Bronco. Nancy drives the Mustang. But hey, we park in the same driveway. Quality care. It may be your car, but it's still our baby. He was crying. When you have diaper rash, it burns. I mean, it really hurts. Karen Miller, a grandmother from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, is telling us about new Baby Gold Bond medicated powder. I'm glad they've got the Baby Gold Bond. It did work. New Baby Gold Bond relieves baby's red, irritated skin and protects against diaper rash and chafing. He likes the blue one, Baby Gold Bond. I have recommended it because I really think it's great. Try new Baby Gold Bond medicated powder at drugstores and supermarkets everywhere. Use only as directed. When's the last time you tried Ovaltine? This morning. When you're into good health like I am, you drink Ovaltine every day. Ovaltine tastes good, and it's good for you. Just two glasses of classic Ovaltine and milk provide 10 essential vitamins and minerals. Almost 100% of the recommended daily allowance of B-complex vitamins, A, C, and D, plus other important nutrients. Ovaltine tastes so good, you won't believe it's so good for you. Classic Ovaltine. Ovaltine tastes good, and it's good for you. Okay, we are back. Here is uh, Robbie in Fort Worth, Texas. Hi. Where the blue of the night meets the gold of the day. Tom, you're in a full moon mode. I am in. <laughs> you got that right. Hey, Tom, I got three quick things for you. Okay. I'm dying to find out with the ingredients of the radio show cocktails. Oh, you mean the radio show martini? Oh, I'm sorry, martini. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. You know those. You know those ingredients. You can make make it with vodka or gin. Okay. R uh, remove remove bottle of vodka and or gin from freezer. Place in mouth. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Put straw in bottle and suck. <laughs> Tom, as in this show, sucks. <laughs> hey Tom, yeah, you're you're a good man. Thanks. Hey Tom, another thing. Whenever I saw you on the Tonight Show with JC, yeah. It seemed like when you came out, y'all were like um, uh, friendly, but a little bit distant. Is that how, how would you describe your relationship with Johnny? Uh, you you just hit the ball right out of the park. Friendly but distant. Friendly but distant. Huh? Huh? Y'all don't play a uh, handball or anything together. No, we haven't for years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One day, Johnny invited me over to the house for dinner. He just didn't tell me where the house was. Hey, well, hey, that, that happened.